Um, these are practices that are traditionally recited out loud um, while you practice them, but if you prefer to just tune into the prayer and visualize and have your eyes closed, that's totally fine too. It's up to you. So, um, the visualization some of you may be familiar with, um, up at the top you have Maitreya in the Pure Land, Tashida Ganden, and from his heart comes Lama Tsongkhapa and his two disciples, um, Gelsip Jay and Kedrick Jay. And then there, from their heart centers, light forms and kind of combines into one and then enters the crown of your head and flushes clean. And I'll repeat that visualization when we actually get to it, but just so you kind of are clicked in if it's not as common a practice for you. Okay, so starting by visualizing your objects of refuge. You can do elaborate visualization of one into many, like in Georgia with the whole merit field, or you can do simple visualization of many into one in which all the objects of refuge are embodied in Guru Shakyamuni Buddha. So just take a minute and stabilize that visualization. And with that visualization, then adding the refuge prayer. Dagi jin so gi pe so nam ki Dro la pen chi sang ge dru pa sho Sang ge churum so gi churum la Chan chu pa du dani gap su chi Dagi jin so gi pe so nam ki Dro la pen chi sang ge dru pa sho and allow refuge in bodhicitta to sink in, touching your heart. In the four immeasurable thoughts. O Sanjan Tamje Niri Chadadam, Drawe Tanyon Lane Nachi Maru, Nepa Gyuchi, Nepa Dagi Jao, Data Jay Nupa Lamale. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were to abide in equanimity, free from the closeness of attachment and the distance of hatred. May they abide in equanimity. I myself will cause them to abide in equanimity. Please, Guru Deity, bless me to be able to do this. And repeating it once more to yourself and meditating on Tonglen, taking on all the disturbing emotions of sentient beings, giving them to your self cherishing thought, thinking that this destroys it.
and loving kindness. Usem gentum je sangie gopadam de na chami varum de pa gyuchi den pa dagi jao de ta je nu pa la male jingie How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were to achieve Buddhahood. I myself will cause them to achieve Buddhahood. Please, Guru Deity, bless me to be able to do this. So meditate briefly on Tonglen, this time transforming your body into a wish-granting jewel that gives every sentient being every kind of temporary and ultimate happiness that they desire and need. You can repeat the verse once again to yourself. And shifting to compassion. Usam chen tam je dung ya da dung Nel gi gyu dan dra na chi ya ma rung Dra wai gyu chi dra wa da gi ja ho De ta je nu pa la ma le Jing gi ya la tu sung how wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they be free from suffering and its causes. I myself will cause them to be free from suffering and its causes. Please, Guru Deity, bless me to be able to do this. Repeating the verse back to yourself, meditating on Tonglen, taking upon yourself all the suffering and causes of suffering of all sentient beings. And joyfulness. Usam jantam che tori da da pe dewa dampa dama drama chi maru mi drawa gyuchi mi drawa dagi jao de ta je nu pa la male jingi alab tu so. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were never separated from the happiness of higher rebirth and liberation. May they never be separated from these. I myself will cause them never to be separated from these. Please, Guru Deity, bless me to be able to do this. Repeating the verse back to yourself. Meditate briefly on Tonglen. Giving all your past, present, and future merits and their results including enlightenment to all sentient beings.
and then purifying the place. Everywhere may the ground be pure, free of pebbles and so forth, as level as the palm of the hand and the nature of sapphire and soft. You can imagine holding a burning stick of incense from the heart of the savior of the hundred deities of Tashida on the peak of a cloud resembling a clump of extremely white fresh curd, king of Dharma, omniscient Losan Drapa, please come here together with your sons. And so revive that visualization. Maitreya in the Tashita Pure Land, streams of light from his heart center, the end of which Lama Sankapa, Losan Drapa, his ordained name, from his heart, on one side, Gelsip J, the other, Kedrip J. By invoking them, we become receptive to the fact that they are already here. And then visualize yourself offering a beautiful golden lion throne adorned with jewels and a double vajra, as we recite. In the sky before me, on a lion throne, lotus and moon, my perfect pure guru smiles with delight. Supreme field of merit for my mind of faith, please abide for a hundred eons to spread the teachings. Think that the guru accepts and we create the cause for our teachers to all have the aspect of long life. Prostration. Your holy mind has the intelligence that understands the full extent of objects to be known. Your holy speech with its excellent explanations is an ear ornament for those of good fortune. Your holy body is radiantly beautiful with glory renowned. To you who are meaningful to see, hear, and remember, I prostrate. And so just generating the mind of prostration, we become receptive to what we respect. And then the offerings, pleasing drinking water, various flowers, fragrant incenses, lights and scented waters and so forth. Oceans of cloud-like offerings, both actually arranged and mentally emanated. I offer to you the supreme field of merit. And so you can visualize in the manner of Samatabhadra where all of the offerings you can imagine then multiply and multiply and multiply, filling all of space. And think that this abundant mind overcomes your tendencies of attachment and miserliness and creates the causes for resources in the future. And the confession. Whatever non-virtue of body, speech, and mind especially those opposite to the three vows that I've collected from beginningless time, I confess each and every one with fervent regret from my heart. And so just imagine a mind that is laid bare before your objects of refuge, one in nature with your own root guru, held in their compassionate gaze, perfectly understood 
being held in that way, feel that you can truly recognize your faults to be faults without guilt, without identification. Those you can remember, those that you can't remember. Recalling any breakages of your pratamoksha, bodhisattva, or tantric vows, as well as anything of the ten non virtues, etc. and rejoicing. You strove for much learning and practice in this degenerate age and made your freedoms and richnesses meaningful by abandoning the eight worldly concerns. Savior, we sincerely rejoice in your extensive deeds. And so you can think in particular of the deeds of Lama Tsongkhapa, or you can think in particular the deeds of your own teacher, maybe His Holiness the Dalai Lama, Lamazoka Rinpoche, Yangzi Rinpoche. Connecting with the way in which they made life meaningful. Free from chasing pleasure, avoiding pain. Free from chasing gain, avoiding loss. free from chasing validation and praise and fearing criticism, free from chasing a good reputation or fearing a bad reputation, through separating from these eight worldly concerns, how meaningful their life became and still is. This rejoicing practice acts as an antidote to jealousy, as well as maximizes our own merit. And so think deeply about the qualities and activities of your teachers. And then as we request, visualize numberless replicas of yourself in the form of Brahma, each offering a beautiful thousand spoke golden Dharma wheel. Perfect, pure, holy gurus from the billowing clouds of wisdom and compassion in the sky of Dharmakaya, please let fall a rain of profound and extensive Dharma upon the receptacle of those to be subdued exactly as we need. And think that your teacher happily accepts the Dharma Chakra. 
creating the cause to meet their teachings again and again from now until the great enlightenment. And we dedicate the seven limb prayer. May whatever virtue I have collected benefit the teachings and all transmigratory beings. And in particular, may it cause the essence of perfect pure Lozandrapa's teachings to shine forever. Mandela. <laughs> May we meet the teachings of the victorious one, Lozandrapa, who had the morality of an eminently pure way of life, was courageous in the extensive conduct of the sons of the victorious ones, and accomplished the yoga of the two stages of supreme bliss and emptiness. Yadam Guru Ratna Mandala Kamiyatayami. And so we once again clarify the visualization. So visualize Lama Sankapa, his two spiritual sons, in the space in front of you. Then focus on Lama Sankapa in particular. And think that Lama Sankapa is one in essence with your root guru, with Manjushri, the embodiment of all the Buddha's wisdom, Avalokiteshvara, embodiment of all the Buddha's compassion, and Vajrapani, embodiment of all the Buddha's power. By the force of having fervently requested in this way, hollow beams of white light are emitted from the hearts of the perfect pure father and sons and combining into one, they enter my crown. White nectar, the color of milk, flows from the opening of the tube of white light, cleansing all my sicknesses, spirit harms, negative karmas, obscurations, and their imprints without exception. My body becomes as pure and clear as crystal. So this is the visualization that we maintain throughout the rest of the practice until I say otherwise. So just stabilize it for a moment. This white nectar flushing your system clean, purifying your body, speech, and mind. And holding that visualization, then we add the nine line prayer in English, and then we'll do the five line prayer in Tibetan. Vajadara, Lord of Sages, source of all realizations. Avalokiteshvara, great treasure of non-objectifying compassion. Manjushri, master of stainless wisdom. Lord of secrets, destroyer of the entire host of Maras. Losandrapa, crown ornament of the sages of the land of snow. To you, Guru Buddha, embodying the three refuges, I make requests respectfully with my three doors. Please bless me and others to be ripened and liberated. Please bestow the supreme and common realizations. Please bless me to quickly become like you. And so we'll do this prayer a few times out loud in Tibetan, 
and then you continue it under your breath in the style of a mantra. If you have your mala, you can use it or else just use your fingers. Me, <clears throat> me me se we te chen chen re zi, dri me gyan pe wam po jam pe yang, du po ma lu jam se sang le dong, dan chen ge pe su ngan song ka pa, lo san dra pe sha pa so wa deb, me me se we te chen chen re zi, dri me gyan pe wam po jam pe yang, du po ma lu jam se sang we So continue the prayer under your breath together with the visualization. We may say we touch and chen resay, we may can be one with
and try to keep the mantra going under your breath together with the visualization and add the prayer for great wisdom. Please bless me to achieve the great wisdom that is unimpeded in discerning the meaning of the infinite scriptures. Once again, great wisdom flows forth in the form of orange nectar, so the light turns to orange, filling my body from the atoms of the nectar clarified in the form of perfect manjushris, light radiates. The wisdom of the victorious ones of the ten directions and their sons absorbs into me in the form of the bodies of the deity, filling my body. So it's the same visualization with Lama Zonkapa, two disciples, tube of white light, but now the tube becomes orange light and the tube becomes filled with infinite tiny manjushris going down through the crown of your head, filling you up, creating the cause for great wisdom. Great wisdom that helps us understand the meanings of the infinite scriptures. So just a gentle shift in the visualization while keeping the prayer. We may say we do chin chin, we say we do make it more much. So what And we shift to clear wisdom. Please bless me to achieve the clear wisdom that is not confused about subtle and detailed difficult points. Once again, clear wisdom flows forth in the form of orange nectar filling my body from the atoms of the nectar clarified in the form of arapatsana, light radiates. The clear wisdom of the Victorious ones of the ten directions and their sons absorbs into me in the form of the mantras filling my body. So now the orange light carries the Manjushri mantra. You can visualize the syllables in whichever language feels comfortable to you. You may say.
Maybe say what she's in Jen Rose. I dream it can be one more time. I'll do one more. And quick wisdom. Please bless me to achieve the quick wisdom that quickly cuts through non understanding, misunderstanding, and doubt. Once again, quick wisdom flows forth in the form of orange nectar filling my body. From the atoms of the nectar clarified in the form of orange D syllables, light radiates. The quick wisdom of the victorious ones of the 10 directions and their sons absorbs into me in the form of the seed syllables filling my body. So the orange nectar carrying the syllable D, again, in whichever language feels comfortable representing that sound of Manjushri's seed syllable. Maybe say what Profound wisdom. Please bless me to achieve the profound wisdom that is unfathomable in discerning the meanings of the scriptures. Once again, profound wisdom flows forth in the form of orange nectar filling my body. From the atoms of the nectar clarified in the form of texts and swords, light radiates. The profound wisdom of the victorious ones of the 10 directions and their sons absorbs into me in the form of the hand implements filling my body. The orange nectar carrying Manjushri's hand implements. We may say we did enjoy. Wisdom of explaining. Please bless me to achieve the wisdom of explaining that gives supreme ascertainment regarding all the meanings of words. Once again, the wisdom of explaining flows forth in the form of orange nectar filling my body. From the atoms of the nectar, clarified in the forms of the text to be explained, light radiates. The wisdom of explaining of the victorious ones of the 10 directions and their sons absorbs into me in the form of the texts filling my body. Maybe say we did
debating. Please bless me to achieve the wisdom of debating that thoroughly deprives evil propounders of their self-confidence. Once again, the wisdom of debating flows forth in the form of orange nectar filling my body. From the atoms of the nectar clarified in the form of wheels of swords, light radiates. The wisdom of debating of the victorious ones of the ten directions and their sons absorbs into me in the form of the wheels filling my body. We may say we touch in ten resage. Wisdom of composing. Please bless me to achieve the wisdom of composing that gives rise to a joyous, clear understanding of the excellent actually signified meaning. Once again, the wisdom of composing flows forth in the form of orange nectar filling my body. From the atoms of nectar clarified in the form of text and wheels, light radiates. The wisdom of composing of the victorious ones of the ten directions and their sons absorbs into me in the form of the texts and wheels filling my body. We may say we teach in ten Me may say we touch and turn resi, dreamy can be one potent beyond two more mother chimps. I sound with our guns and gabies and sunk about those and drop a shop a so hard. May my wisdoms of listening, reflecting, and meditating increase. May my wisdoms of explaining, debating, and composing develop. May I be granted the supreme and common realizations. Please bless me to quickly become like you. May my transcendental wisdom of simultaneously born great bliss arise. May my stains of mistakenly grasping things as real be purified. May my net of doubts that are only mind be cut off. Please bless me to quickly become like you. We just imagine Lama Tsongkhapa's two disciples dissolve into light and absorb into him. Lama Tsongkhapa dissolves into light and absorbs into us, blessing our body, speech, and mind. And Maitreya, we still feel connected to, imagining that immediately upon our death, we can be drawn to Dashita Pure Land and quickly become enlightened for the benefit of all sentient beings. And so for a moment, imagine that your mind mixes with the mind of Lama Tsongkhapa, one in essence with your own root guru, with Manjushri, 
of Lakitishvara and Vajapani. And dedicate. By the force of the victorious one, Sankapa, acting as our direct Mahayana virtuous friend in all our lives, may we never turn away for even a second from the pure path highly admired by the victorious ones. May we be able to live a life of pure morality, listen to many teachings, train in bodhicitta, and have pure view and conduct without corrupting or polluting the teachings of Lozandrapa, the second victorious one. Glorious Guru, whatever your body, retinue, lifespan, and realm, whatever your supreme and excellent name, may I and others become exactly like that. By the force of the praises and requests made to you, may all diseases, evil spirits, poverty, and quarrels be calmed, and may the Dharma and good fortune increase in the regions in which I and others dwell. Please bless us that the lives of the glorious gurus be long, that all beings equaling the extent of space be happy, that I and others without exception collect merits and purify obscurations, and that we quickly achieve Buddhahood. May I not arise heresy for even a second in the actions of the glorious guru. May I see whatever actions are done as pure. With this devotion, may I receive the guru's blessings in my heart. For the Dharma King Sankapa's way of Dharma to flourish, may all signs of obstacles be pacified and all conducive conditions be complete. Due to the two types of merit of the three times of myself and others, may the teachings of the victorious one Lozandrapa shine resplendent forever. Due to the three time merits collected by myself, the numberless Buddhas and the numberless sentient beings, may I, my family members, all those who rely upon me, all those for whom I have promised to pray, all those whose names have been given to me, all the students, benefactors, and volunteers in the FPMT organization, and all sentient beings, be able to meet perfectly qualified Mahayana virtuous friends in all our future lives. From our side, may we always see them as enlightened. May we only do actions most pleasing to their holy minds, and may we always fulfill their holy wishes instantly. Gariya rawe koe jinkam dia pendong de wa malu jangwe ne genrezi wan tenzing atsoi chape si te badu tenguchi. Okay.